Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the inner door glass on your range. It's a really easy repair. Let me show you how we do it. Now the best method to do this repair is to remove the door from the range completely. To do so, simply open it up fully and then we'll remove the two retaining straps, one on either side, that secure the hinge to the oven body. Simply take out the Phillips screw. It's a number two Phillips head. Lift up and remove the retaining bracket. Do the same on the opposite side. Now with the two brackets removed, we next need to block that hinge from closing up completely. And if you look at them carefully, you'll see there's a hole on the top edge of both hinges, roughly about an eighth inch in diameter. So what we'll need is either a couple of finish nails or some small screws that are no bigger than an eighth of an inch. We'll put them through those holes and that'll keep the hinge from closing up completely. We've selected a couple of small screws. Just fit them into that hole. And then as we close that door up, the hinge will come up against that screw and prevent the door from closing completely. At this point, we can lift the door up and out of the oven body, and then we're going to set that on a suitable work surface and we can change out that part. Now we've laid the door face down on a suitable work surface. Our next step will be to remove these three screws across the bottom of the door that help secure the outer panel to the door body. Again, a number two Phillips screw is being used. Then next we'll go to the top of the door and we'll remove these three screws. You may take note that the one in the center typically is a shorter screw. Then we'll carefully lift off the outer door panel and remove it. And we'll just set that aside. This bracket may have stuck to the bottom of the door or may still be attached to the door frame. We simply need to lift that off and set it aside as well. With the outer door panel removed, we've now exposed four studs that secure the inner heat shield and the window pack. So we're simply going to take those four 3 8 nuts off of those studs. Now we can carefully lift out that window pack and heat shield as well as the top heat shield in one movement and we'll set that aside. Now with the heat shield and outer glass pack removed, we now have access to the inner window pack frame. And it's secured by two 3 8 hex head nuts. Now we'll carefully lift out that window pack and just take note of the position of that insulation around it. You may want to just pull that back away from the window first. Quite often it'll be stuck to it at some point. So we want to make sure that's free before we lift the window up. And now we'll need to disassemble this frame so that we can replace the defective glass. So next we're just going to rotate that frame until we locate the open corner on it. And you'll see that there is a tab that's bent over here. So both glasses are still intact. We want to keep those pressed together. We're going to lift up that tab. That will allow us to separate those that corner. And we 
can remove the individual glass panel. And if you had any broken one, you simply need to vacuum all of the old pieces of the inside of your door and replace it with a new one. Or if you're simply replacing them because of discoloration, we'll take them both out, clean up that channel, and then slide the new ones into place. If you're only replacing one, this is your opportunity to clean the other. Remember to clean at least the inside of the new one before you put it in position. And make sure that tab is fully inserted and fold it over to lock it. Now once we have the both surfaces of that window pack clean, we're ready to put it back into the inner door panel assembly. Now when reassembling this door, we want to make sure that we pull that insulation back away from the opening on that inner door panel, and then we'll tuck it back into place once the window frame is laid in place. Remind mind the long legs go towards the bottom of the door, and we're gonna sit over those two studs. And just take note as we're placing that in there that we don't catch any of that insulation in that opening. and then we can carefully tuck it down into place. Now we'll secure those two lower legs. And now we can position the inner heat shield and window pack on top of that. So again, before we install that, we may want to clean the underside of that glass once we've done that. Just lower it on top of those studs. and then secure it with the hex nuts. And now we're ready to put the outer door panel back on. Now when you remove the outer door panel, if that filler strip on the bottom dropped out of place, you can either put it back into the outer door panel or you can set it right on the door frame itself. We want to position it so that the open channel portion faces to the inside of the door. And then we can just balance it in place, lining up the screw holes in the end until we can set that outer door panel on top of it.
slide that outer door panel into position. And secure it with retaining screws, making sure that we capture both the pillar piece as well as the outer door panel. screws on the top of the door. Keeping in mind the short one goes in the center. And now we're ready to put the door back on the range. So now we just want to line that door up. The hinge sockets. Push it firmly in until that notch on the top of the hinge is flush with that outer plate. Then we can open the door up and we'll install those two retaining straps. And then we can close the door up. And our repair is complete.